Sister Shaw here from Fine Natural Hair and Faith. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. In today's really quick video, I'm just gonna share with you a bunch of mistakes that you could be making with your fine hair. Starting with not detangling your hair with conditioner and gloves. You see your fingernails often have little pieces that are hanging and most of the time we don't know it until we're working our fingers through our hair and come upon a snag. Well, if you had heftier strands, you might get away with that. But for those of us with fine strands, we really need to take all the precautions necessary to not snag our hair, not pull on it, not create any unnecessary split ends. Another mistake that you could be making with your fine hair is brushing it dry, combing it dry, anything doing it dry. Because your hair is a lot more fragile than thicker strands, you do not want to create a friction that can cause it to split or break. And when you're using a brush or a comb on dry hair, it is inevitable that that hair is going to be weakened by the friction of the comb or the brush. Whereas if you were to use conditioner, like I mentioned in the first tip, you will be able to glide through your hair, be it your fingers or the brush in the comb, and not create the friction that would cause your hair to break under the stress. Another mistake that you could be making with your fine hair is simply stressing your edges too much. Stressing your edges by pulling it too tight or by using a brush that, you know, just to slick your edges down. Like, I love laid edges. I love, love, love laid edges, but I take a break from that sometimes and I don't always slick my edges down. I just let them, like now, I'm just letting them be because if you continue to stress them, you will thin them out. Another mistake that you could be making with your fine natural hair is not protecting your nape. Now, this is one that's a little bit difficult to do because, you know, at any given time, your nape, your nape is always exposed. However, one thing that you can do to protect your nape is to line it with Jamaican black castor oil. Like literally, because that oil is so heavy, it's very protective. So you could put Jamaican black castor oil all along the nape of your neck so that any friction from your clothes or even just your hairs rubbing against that section would be able to move freely and not get caught up. Your nape would not ball up. Sometimes when your hair is really fine in the nape section, it will start to kind of tangle. And another mistake that you could be making with your fine hair is allowing your splits to hang around for too, too long. Now this could be a problem with any hair type, but I feel like it is even more so an issue for those of us with fine hair. Picture this. You have, we're gonna pretend that this is one hair versus a twist. Let's say this is one hair and it begins to split. Because the hair being so fine to begin with, if it starts to split, that hair is going to literally start getting thinner and thinner and thinner and pretty much it just breaks right off. So, whereas if you have a thicker strand of hair that split at the end, maybe you could get away with not trimming that split off for a little while. But when your hair is really super thin, it's just going to make the hair look even a lot more, you know, piecey and choppy and just very, very frail and thin looking. It's like, you know, like a sick person. We don't, we don't want that. So, trim your ends as needed. Don't let those splits hang around for too, too long. Anyway, that's it for my tips of mistakes that you could be making with your fine natural hair. Let me know if you have any more. I know there's a ton of tips. I have a bunch on this channel. I just wanted to zero in on some, some ones that really can impact the health and the appearance of your hair. All right, thank you for watching. Have a very blessed day. And remember, your hair is your crown.